Jesse Livermore is one of the greatest traders in history, but there are not too many people who know about him and that he died bankrupt. How can someone who's failed in his so-called art inspire others at the same time? I'm inspired not by the way he died, but by the way he lived. So he died bankrupt because he said during the fag end that he didn't himself follow the practices he had put forward. And in 1929, if I can just speak about him, he was almost or he became the richest man in America because he was shorting stocks one side. And JP Morgan and everybody, the New York Stock Exchange president came to him and said, if you don't cover your shorts, you're not going to get any money. These guys have no money. There was no margining system at that time. So Livermore is phenomenal. I mean, the more I can think about him, the more it's about how early on, and that's the only book relevant, if the, even after 100 years it was written, 